guys. Uh, here's a great workout for you to do if you're postpartum. Um, if you haven't done my previous video where we learn core breath and practice that, I'd actually like you to um, skip out of this video. It, the other one is linked, so just jump into the other video to learn that core breath and then come back to this one, okay? So we're going to start with lying on your back. You don't need any equipment for the workout today, but if you do have a ball or something you can squeeze between your knees, a yoga block works really well, even a water bottle, um, bring that over. And if you don't have it, it's gonna be fine anyways. All right, exercise number one. Um, so using the core breath, let's actually do a couple of rounds of core breath before we get started on this one. So nice big breath in. You're gonna think about your ribs being an umbrella, open that umbrella up. As you exhale, you're gonna close the umbrella. Imagine picking up a blueberry with your vagina, bringing your hip bones together, holding in a fart, and then exhale everything, sorry, inhale everything relaxes. All right, so that's gonna be an exhale, close that umbrella that is your rib cage, hip bones come together, pick up that blueberry, hold in a fart, and then inhale, everything relaxes. All right, so we're gonna work that into a bridge lift. So if you can, you're gonna put something in between your knees to squeeze, and you're gonna use that same core breath. So we're gonna inhale and relax. Exhale, do all of that engagement. Start by lifting your tailbone off the floor, pull your hip bones towards your rib cage, squeeze that ball, and then it's an inhale to come on back down to center. So we're gonna be moving really slow and intentionally here. Your breath in is your relax, and as you exhale, you engage all of those muscles. Squeeze that ball, pull your hip bones towards your rib cage as you lift, and then lower all the way back down one vertebrae at a time with your tail coming down last. Good, exhale to lift it all off the floor. So we're gonna go up to a set of 10, but if this, you know, if you're just getting started with your, your postnatal fitness and this feels like too much for you, please don't be shy to cut down the rest and take a little bit of a break. Okay, so try to go here. Good. Every exhale, you've got all that engagement, picking up the blueberry, that feeling of trying to hold in gas. Inhale to release it down. We're going to do just two more. You're probably starting to feel some work now in your bum, which is a really great feeling. Good, and this will be our last one. All right, very nice work. Coming all the way back down, you can take that ball out of the way. I'm going to show two levels of the next one. I call this one the knee drop. You're going to start with your feet together and your knees together. And then your hands, we're going to spread over top of your lower belly. So I want you to be able to feel your hip bones and your kind of all of these front abs. And your hands are here as a guide to let you know if your hips are shifting side to side, if your belly is pushing up into your hands. And what we're going to do as you inhale, I'm going to let one knee fall open to the side without letting the hips shift. And then as you exhale, use your core breath exhale, engage all the muscles and let that be what brings your knee back up to center. Okay, so as you inhale, the knee falls open. And then as you exhale, pull the ribs in, pick up your blueberry, bring your hip bones together, hold in your fart. Now if this feels real easy, I'm gonna show you an, uh, another option to make it a little bit more challenging. Remember, it doesn't have to be hard, especially at this stage for it to be effective. Like that's really, really important. But your option to add challenge here would be to start with your feet up off of the floor. Easier will be knees closer to, towards you and harder will be knees further away. You just want to make sure you can keep your lower back flat on the floor. So it's the same thing here as you inhale, your knee falls open. Make sure your hips stay completely stable. And then exhale, use that core engagement to bring the knee back up to center. Nice breath in, knee falls open. Good, and then exhale, come on back up to your center. So if you did this and now you can't keep your hips stable, please go back to the first version that I showed you. You also might notice one side is a little bit harder and one side is a little bit easier. One of the nice things about these unilateral exercises, you can identify those weaker sides and actually have the muscles on that side do all of the work compared to when you're doing everything with two legs and then your stronger side can kind of take over. I'm gonna do one more on each side here. That 
one is your last one like that. All right, next one we're gonna do is a baby crunch, okay? Um, I don't want you doing full sit-ups yet. There's no reason to bring that into your life. We're gonna do our core breath, and just on your exhale, you're gonna lift your head and maybe your shoulders up off the floor. All right, so it's a nice big breath in. And then as you exhale, pull the ribs in, hip bones together, pick up your blueberry, hold in your heart, lift your head and shoulders off the floor, make sure everything is moving in and down, and then it's an inhale to reset, coming back to your center. Exhale, do all the work, lift your head and shoulders up off the floor. Good, and inhale to come on back to center. Every breath out, creates that muscle engagement where you're pulling your ribs in, picking up all of those pelvic floor muscles. And then your inhale is your reset. Nothing wrong with a hand behind your head here, guys, if you find that your uh, neck gets sore while you're doing your crunches. So we're gonna go through about four more of those. Now, I know there isn't a lot of time to be had when you're taking care of a new baby, but making time for these types of exercises is a really, really important part of your recovery and you're kind of stepping back towards the gym and fitness. So if you can, set aside like five minutes a day to do these types of exercises. Well, that we've done our time. Um, that's gonna move you ahead pretty quickly. So. Those three exercises we just said, you could repeat that two or three times, once or twice a day. And as those are starting to get easier, you can skip ahead to my next video.